schwer. I'm going to start this motor up. I built this motor, or the concept is the calls a while ago, but I remodified the commutator, and while doing so, uh, the commutator is actually quite good, but uh, I stuffed up a 12 coil motor and a 13 bar commutator, so I got one dead spot on it, and I'll show you, but uh, I got the brush holders, which is not perfect. Um, basically some stranded copper wire with aluminium supports from the sides. Got a little spring that keeps a bit of tension on there. So it works. I'm not 100% happy with it, but uh, for now it's there to put up a video on the 12th. You can lift this off. There's a bit of tension on there. Same on the other one. Commutator are made out of strands, out of copper strands. And I'll give a close up shortly. Let's turn the light off to show the visual. That's not too bad. A bit of arcage there. The top view is the 12 pole DC motor. And the power comes just from a normal power supply. It runs at 32 volts. About half an amp, and uh, yeah, it's just connected up here. It's important that the magnets. Uh, I got two magnets here. I got a magnet here and a magnet on the other side. That the poles are all, all right, opposite way. So I call it one side red, the other one is just clear. There, here is the red on this side, straight under the brush. And the black one is straight across here, so I'm going to turn this thing off now. And then well, it's a bit clearer. You can see it pulsing itself in position. Red one sits under this uh, bolt here. Diagonally on the other side. There's the black one and there's the red one on that side. I'm going to modify this thing to a series motor, um, haven't done that yet, um, see if that works. Energize the device again. So yeah, for now I'm pretty pleased with it, but yeah, the hardest part on these things is uh, getting these brushes right. So it's a 13 bar commutator with a 12 uh, pole machine. So I've got one dead spot on it. You can see the arcage. Shouldn't be arcing that much, but I did try to use uh, some pencil graphite stiff sticks from the inside and uh, even bought a couple of builders pencils. And they actually got quite a bit of resistance. Um, that's a hard one and that was about 60 ohms with the ohmmeter. One of these is about 40 ohms, so uh, yeah, you needed to increase the voltage quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I have this stickless copper for now, so I'm still doing some research on this, how to get these going better. But um, yeah, for now, um, close up on the commutator. Commutator is the hardest part to make on any uh, DC motor. Different ways. I used strands. Um, I've seen a lot of people using strands as well, but I ended up putting strings of three strands. This this core came out of a uh, high voltage switch unit, and I couldn't manage to get about 46 of these strands in a circle, and then I started splitting, pulling. Um, Single strands out to get gaps and uh, stuffed up. So I got some as three, some as two, and then I ended up when I was winding, soldering all the coils. I got one blank. Um, let's have a look here. That has uh, no wire on it, but it still works. It's not good, so I'm going to redo this. But for now, uh, it has to do, it has to suffice for now. The DC motor, Pyrodalco 2007.
making videos for 10 years on YouTube. Thanks for watching.